Hi there, I am Alan Udy for the Historical Aviation Film Unit and this week we're going to try something a little different. Rather than showing you videos of old aeroplanes, we're going to talk a little bit about a new publication which, funnily enough, is also called Old Aeroplanes. This rather nice, glossy, full-colour publication has been put together by Leslie Quagrain in Finland. This first issue includes photo articles on Cole Palin's old Rhinebeck aerodrome in New York, USA. Uh, there's a feature on Baron Cedarstrom and the Flying Fish, uh, Scandinavian pilot and early aviation uh, pioneer. There's also an article on the Messerschmitt BF-109 in Finnish Air Force Service and a selection of great photos of P-51 Mustangs at Duxford in the UK. Now the one thing that really strikes you about this publication is the fact that it's obviously a labour of love. Um, the photographs that are in this um, book, magazine, whatever you will, uh, are just great. And you can tell that uh, Leslie is very passionate about it, what he does and he takes some very nice photographs and they're published here in a great uh, format. Nice, large, uh, easy to see, uh, there's information, you know, good captions in many cases give you a good narration of what's going on, but it's not overbearing. This is not a magazine which is where the, the text is the feature part of the, the story. In this case, it's the photographs that are, that are telling the story. Uh, a good example would be here with the uh, BF-109s in Finnish Air Force Service. You've got uh, some rather nice artwork which Leslie himself has put together. You've got archive, period archive photos, and there are quite a few of them, and, and some of them I'm sure haven't been seen in many places before. They're excellent photos with enough detail in the text to give you a good background on, on what they are and make this quite an enjoyable read. Um, having said that, I'm sure that in a lot of cases this is something that will sit on the coffee table uh, and it'll be a while before it gets put away on a shelf somewhere with all the other aviation magazines you've got because it's so enjoyable just to be able to sit down and flick through it and, and look at the photos, which are brilliant. So the idea behind Old Aeroplanes itself was initially that it was going to be a periodical uh, which you could subscribe to. My current understanding is uh, Leslie's no longer going to do that as such and each issue for want of a better word is going to be sold as its as its own publication so head over to Leslie's old aeroplanes website here's the URL check it out take a look uh, and maybe buy one of the copies and, and see what you think for yourself this is certainly a, a relatively cheap uh, 100 pages of, of aviation photos and text and so definitely worthwhile having a look and if you're into old aeroplanes or you're looking for a gift for somebody who is, uh, this would be a brilliant way to go. So check it out, see what Leslie's up to and encourage him to carry on producing these things because they are really nice.